It's the WWE SmackDown Go Home Show before the Elimination Chamber in Saudi Arabia. So does that mean we're going to get a big show tonight from SmackDown? Does it hell? I mean, WWE must love the environment, but they must hate their fans because they absolutely love to recycle the same garbage week in, week out. And looking at tonight's lineup, looking at tonight's cards, that's exactly what we seem to be getting just one day before Saudi Arabia. I believe this was a taped show, so I think this has already happened. There's no way this will be live and then they'll be flying off to the Saudis. I believe this has already happened and it's still to air. I'm not too sure about that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident that this has already happened. I don't know the results, I'm just looking at the preview. We've got a face-off segment with the WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns and WWE Hall of Famer Bill Goldberg. Uh, you, you've seen one of these, you've seen them all. And it's just how crap wrestling is now. It's every time they're going to do one of these face-off segments, they have to, you know, they have to um, promote it and, and, like, advertise it as if you're getting something epic, you're getting something amazing. When in reality, all we're going to get is Roman Reigns standing on one side of the ring, Goldberg standing on the other, and, you know, they're going to look at each other for about 10 minutes, they're going to have like a stare down contest and maybe one of them will, will say something mean about the other, but I mean really, who gives a flying fuck? Back in the day, you were guaranteed face-off segments and that, that was like the absolute bare minimum you would get between people, but now, a face-off segment is as good as it gets, so Roman Reigns, Bill Goldberg, will anybody get physical? Probably not, we know it's not going to happen, we could have maybe, what about, why can't we have Bill Goldberg versus the Usos, like why not? Seriously, why the fuck not? Why can't uh, the, the, the Usos try and take out Bill Goldberg, you know, before his match at Elimination Chamber with Roman Reigns? Or what about if they don't want to bury the bloodline or whatever, what about they attack Goldberg and then he has to find a partner before later tonight where it's going to be a tag team match? But no, we don't get that. We get Goldberg looking at Roman Reigns. Or maybe Goldberg will look at Paul Heyman, Jew to Jew. I don't know. But uh, surprised either of these two are allowed to fight in Saudi Arabia. Well, Paul Heyman doesn't do much fighting these days. Maybe he fights for a fucking double cheeseburger, but that's about it, guys. Anyway, that's that's the main attraction for tonight. Roman Reigns face off with Bill Goldberg. We've got Ricochet versus Sheamus. Why oh why? Nobody knows. We all know who's going to win it. Sheamus. Why are they just putting the guy with trash like Ricochet? For God's sake, man, push Sheamus. He's actually no bad. He's one of the better people on the roster. Big physical guy. You know, it works kind of stiff but safe in the ring. His style looks, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't look fake. It looks real. <laughs> it looks like it hurts. He's a big dude. You know, he, he, why not? He's a decent promo guy. He's got a good look. Fucking push Sheamus. Push Sheamus. Don't, don't let him face the likes of Ricochet. In a, a meaningless jobber match. I mean, this match means absolutely fuck all. Sheamus has already beat Ricochet about 20 million times this year. Why does he need to beat him again? Honestly, makes zero sense. We have Ivar versus SmackDown tight. I mean, what's better? Listen, Ivar versus Jimmy Uso. Or Goldberg versus the Usos. Come on, man. Jesus Christ. Uh, Eric and Ibar, the, the Viking Raiders, fucking raid yourself into the next town, raid yourself out of my TV screen, these two absolutely suck. We have Sami Zayn getting a shot at the Intercontinental Champion, Shinsuke Nakamura, basically this match not deemed good enough to go on at the Saudi show, so they're going to stick it on tonight, uh, fair play. I hope Nakamura, I hope uh, Sami Zayn wins, I think Nakamura's time as IC champ is up. It's been a very uneventful reign. It's been crap. If we're going to be honest, it has not been good. Just because this Rick Boogs guy comes out and plays a guitar uh, and, and Pat McAfee. That, the best thing about these two is what Pat McAfee, the way he overreacts. There's nothing that Boogs or Nakamura have done that's great. There's nothing they've even done that's good. It's just Pat McAfee overreacts to them every time you see them and that's kind of funny. But apart from that, it's trash. It's garbage. It is crap. We have a contract signing between Ronda Rousey and Naomi versus Sonya Deville and Charlotte Flair. Again, it's like the face-off. They've got fucking... They can no creative bones in their body. They can't give you anything good. Other than, this is it. This is the only two things they've got, man. It's, they always go to these two things every single time. If it's not the face-off, 
it's the contract signing. If it's not the contract signing, it's the face-off. I mean, I don't give a fuck. When I think of face-off, I think of that, you know, that iconic movie where... Alright, maybe not iconic, like, it wasn't that good. But, I mean, John Travolta and Nicolas Cage, that, when I think of face-off, that's what I think of. I don't think of, you know, two fucking steroid-munching bastards looking at each other for ten minutes where nothing happens. I mean, could you imagine if that's all the... Uh, like, back in the day, oh... Oh, Jesus, I'm trying to think of something. Um, yeah, oh, Kane versus Undertaker, you know, they're about to face each other at WrestleMania. And you might, that's what they advertise, a, a face-off. And they're talking. I mean, why? it doesn't make any sense. They've been setting each other on fire. You know, they've been doing all that shit. But we're, oh, the, before the big match, we're going we're gonna to look at each other face-to-face. -face. How's that supposed to impress anybody? How does that impress anybody? I mean, but even back in the fucking, even like 2009, I remember when Triple H was the champion, he's, he's taken on Kali, and it's the, the, the SmackDown before the pay-per-view, and they're having the arm wrestle match, but they've got like the shattered glass, and whoever loses gets their like hand, you know, pushed into the glass, I mean, that's something, that's cool, you know, oh, who's gonna, there's, 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 there's broken glass there, you know what I mean, it's Kali arm wrestle against Triple H, I mean, who would have been interested? Oh, we're going to get a face-off between Triple H and Kali, and Kali's going to mumble some fucking Punjabi pish. Nobody cares about that, right? And nobody cares about this show. Garbage contract signing. And who's going to host it? What, fucking Adam Pearce? Worst bloody official of all time. Worst GM of all time. He's so bad, he's not even given the GM role. That's how much Adam Pearce sucks. And uh, last but not least... We have a promo segment featuring Drew McIntyre with Midcap Moss and Happy Baron Corby. Well, this doesn't make me happy. This sounds absolutely dreadful. Apparently, it's going to be McIntyre versus Madcap Moss at Elimination Chamber. Why, oh, why, oh, why? It's a Royal Rumble repeat match. I mean, we've seen it once. I mean, not Royal Rumble, uh, day one. We've seen it once. We didn't need to see it again. This SmackDown looks absolutely shit. I mean, instead of doing something interesting, instead of doing something unique, the two biggest things they've got going, you know, the two big feuds, and they've basically just gave us a face-off and a contract signing. Same shape, different week, different month, you know, it's going to be garbage. Will I watch it? Of course I'll watch it, but I'm not going to enjoy watching it. It's going to be fucking dreadful. Anyway, that's your Smackdown preview, guys. Tell the review, Been for Wrestling. Thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you later. Until then, peace.